Another ACC starting quarterback goes down. That's coming up, but first, an interstate rivalry leads to a newly ranked team. I'm Lindsay Rowley. It's Monday, September 9th. This is the ACC Now, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. The latest AP polls are out. Miami, with the big upset over the then number 12 Florida Gators this weekend, has launched them into the top 25, landing at number 15. Here's Miami's head coach Al Golden on our sister network, CampusInsiders.com, talking with the host of The Download, Bonnie Bernstein. You know, we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it after the game. We enjoyed it that night. And uh, I just wanted to make sure from the leader on down in this organization that we know we haven't achieved anything yet. And we're not back yet. We got a long way to go. We beat a good Florida team. There's no question about it. But we also beat a team that was deeper than us in a lot of areas. And we got to build depth this week and get our team better. Clemson continues to climb in the polls. The Tigers are up to number three after a blowout win against South Carolina State. Finally, Florida State stays put, posting up at number 10 after getting the week off. Duke quarterback Anthony Boone broke his collarbone during the second quarter of the Blue Devils' win over Memphis on Saturday. Boone won't require surgery, but there is no current timetable for his return. With NC State's Brandon Mitchell breaking his foot in week one, that's two quarterbacks down in two weeks. The number one men's soccer team in the nation, North Carolina, and fourth-ranked Notre Dame tied yesterday. The Tar Heels almost stuck by the Irish, but a goal in the 79th minute by Notre Dame senior Leon Brown sent the game to overtime and an eventual draw. The Tar Heels will take on number 13 Maryland on Friday. Former FSU wide receiver Anquan Bolden put on quite the show yesterday in his 49ers debut. Bolden racking up 13 receptions, a total of 208 yards, tacking on a touchdown as well. And that's the ACC Now, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.